Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Gildiyal. Now I will be discussing the numericals of quantum uh, physics with you. Quant uh, for, as per your AKTU syllabus, please don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to receive a free model paper fully solved before your exams. Okay, let us first quickly revise the formulas. Stephen's law, E is equal to sigma t to the power of 4. Wayne's law, lambda m into t is a constant. Average energy of Planck's oscillator, E is equal to h mu upon E to the power of h mu by kp minus 1. D Broglie wavelength, lambda is equal to h upon p. Other forms, lambda is equal to h upon under root 2 m e. Lambda is equal to h upon under root 2 m q v. Lambda is equal to 12.28 upon under root v angstrom. Wave velocity into group velocity is equal to square of velocity of light. Schrodinger equation minus h bar square upon 2m del 2 plus v whole into phi is equal to i h bar del phi by del t. Schrodinger equation del 2 phi by del x2 plus 2m h bar square into e minus v phi equal to 0. Normalized wave function integral mod of phi square d tau equal to 1. Particle in one dimensional well phi n is equal to under root 2 upon L sine n pi x by L n, where n is 1, 2, 3, etc. Compton shift del lambda is equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi. Eigenvalues of energy E n is equal to n square h square upon 8 m l square. H upon M naught C is Compton wavelength, which is numerically equal to 0 0.0243 angstrom. Planck's constant 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. Mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. 1 electron volt equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. Let us begin. Using Wayne's displacement law, estimate the temperature of sun given lambda m is equal to 4900 angstrom. Wayne's constant is 0.292 centimeter Kelvin. We know from Wayne's displacement law that lambda m into t is a constant. Also, 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter or 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter. So we change lambda m into centimeter and b, the Wayne's constant has been given to us in terms of centimeter. So t equals to b upon lambda m. Putting the numerical value, we get the answer. An electron is moving under a potential field of 15 kilovolt. Calculate the wavelength of electron waves. From D. Broglie equation, we know that lambda is equal to 12.26 upon under root V. V here is given as 15 kilovolt. So 15 into 10 to the power of 3 volt or 15,000 volt. Putting this value in the equation of lambda, we get the answer. Find the D. Broglie wavelength associated with a proton moving with a velocity equal to 1 20th of the velocity of light. From D Broglie equation, we know that lambda is equal to h upon p or h upon mv. We have been given v here as 1 upon 20th the velocity of light. So v is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 upon 20, which is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of 7 meter per second. Mass of proton is 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg. Putting these values in the expression, we get the answer. 
find the probability that a particle trapped in the box L white can be found between 0.45 L and 0.55 L for the ground and first excited state. Probability of finding the particle is given by integral mod phi squared dx for one dimensional well. The formula is two upon L integral sine squared n pi x upon l. Now from the formula cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta. We get sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. So probability formula we keep these values we get 2 upon l integral x1 x2 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 dx. Cos 2 theta on integrating gives us half sine 2 theta. Putting this value in the expression above and taking the limits, we get the answer as probability is 19.8% for n equal to 1 and for n equal to 2, it is 0.65%. A particle is moving in one dimensional potential box of width 2500 angstrom. Calculate the probability of finding the particle within an interval of 5 angstrom at the center of the box when it is in its state of least energy. Least energy means n equal to 1. And from the formula, we know that phi is equal to under root 2 upon L or A sine N pi X by L or A for particle in one dimensional well at the center of box X is equal to A by 2 and probability of finding the particle is mod of phi X square del X. So we put this value here and we get the answer. Now, numericals on eigenvalue E n equal to n square h square upon 8 m l square. An electron is bound in one dimensional potential box, which has a width of 2.25 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Assuming the height of box to be infinite, calculate the lowest two permitted energy values of the electron. Now, h is 6.6. 6 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second, m 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg, l 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Putting these values in the expression, we get the answer in terms of joules. One electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. So we divide this joule value by this quantity and we get the answer in terms of electron volt. Find the energy of an electron moving in one dimension in an infinitely high potential box of width 1 angstrom. The energy of a particle of mass m moving in one dimension in an infinitely high potential box of width L is given by E n is equal to n square h square upon 8 m l square, where n is 1, 2, 3, etc. For minimum energy of the particle, n is equal to 1. So we get E n is equal to h square upon 8 m l square. M 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. H 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. 1 angstrom 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. We put these values and if we need it in terms of electron volt, we divide by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 and we get the answer in terms of electron volt. This question is very, very, very important. It has been asked multiple number of times in any exam where the syllabus gives the heading for particle in one dimensional well. A particle is in motion along a line between x equal to 0 and x equal to a 
with zero potential energy at points for which x is less than zero and x is greater than a, the potential energy is infinite. The wave function for the particle in nth state is given by phi n is equal to a sine n pi x pi a. Find the expression for normalized wave function. For a wave function to be normalized, mod phi n square should be equal to 1 within the given limit. So phi n here is a square sine square n pi x upon a. We put this value 0 to a a square sine pi square sine square n pi x pi a dx equal to 1. Once again, we use this formula cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Here, we have done it. Here, cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So, sine square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. And integral of cos 2 theta is 1 upon 2 sine theta. We put this value here in this expression and we here yeah, cos 2 by this integrate between 0 to a and we find a equal to under root 2 upon a or 2 upon l and we put the value here. Compton effect del lambda equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi h upon m naught c is a constant in itself. Its numerical value is standard. It, it, it can be memorized for the exams show that d Broglie wavelength of a particle is equal to its Compton wavelength when its velocity is 0 0.707 c, where c is velocity of light. From d Broglie concept, lambda is equal to h upon p, where p is mv, also relativistic mass m equal to m naught upon under root 1 minus v square by c square, given v is equal to 0 0.707 c. So m is equal to m naught upon under root 1 minus 0 0.707 c whole square by c square, and you get the value here. Putting this value in lambda formula, we get the value equal to h upon m naught c, which is Compton wavelength. Calculate Compton shift if x-rays of wavelength one angstrom are scattered from a carbon block. The scattered radiation is viewed at 90 degree to the incident beam. Lambda is one angstrom, which is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Theta is 90 degree. H is 6.63 .6 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. C is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. And M naught is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. We put these values in this expression above and we get lambda equal to 0 0.0243 angstrom. In Compton scattering experiment, x-rays of wavelength 0 0.015 angstrom is scattered at 60 degree. Find the wavelength of the scattered x-ray. Let lambda and lambda dash be the wavelengths of incident and scattered x-ray photons. Then Compton change is given by del lambda equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi. Using the formula, cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta, we get lambda dash minus lambda equal to 2 h upon m naught c sine square theta by 2. Given lambda is 0 0.015 angstrom, which is equal to 0 0.015 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter, and theta is 60 degree. Putting these values here and solving, we get the value for lambda. Similarly, other questions have been asked in previous year papers. A beta, a beam of gamma radiation having photon energy 510 kilo electron volt is incident on the foil of aluminium. Calculate the wavelength of scattered radiation at 90 degree. Energy of photon from Einstein's principle is E equal to H mu, which is equal to HC by lambda, which is equal to 510 kilo electron volt. 
and that means 510 into kilo 10 to the power of 3 electron volt into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Now lambda equals to hc. We put this value upon E. What have we been given? E as 510 kilo electron volt. We get the value for lambda and lambda dash equals to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi plus lambda. Phi here is 90 degree. Cos 90 is 0. So this expression becomes lambda dash is equal to lambda plus h upon m naught c. Putting the value, we get the answer. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. And any problem, any suggestion, you can mail me at my email ID, divyagildial at the rate gmail.com or mobile number 9810320303. Thank you.